Hey, it's Salud here, and I have a Patreon preview for you. You and your friend who are filled with romantic tension go on an adventure through a necromatic dungeon. I loved writing and performing this story because the two of you realize your feelings right away. Uh, you'll actually hear it in the preview. And the rest of the dungeon is filled with other obstacles. I won't spoil it. Please consider subscribing, it makes a huge difference and I am barely scraping by. If you're interested, I would love to have you as a patron. Right now, uh, they're suggesting names for future characters and voting on ideas for other stories. Please enjoy and give this video a like if you like it. Mwah! Be good. <sighs> We're almost there. I bet we look amazing right now. Yeah, just picture it. Two friends who are intrepid explorers and really good looking. Hiking in the fall sunshine across honey-colored mountains. Searching for the entrance to an ancient, secret dungeon. Filled to the brim with a necromatic treasure and secrets. Oh, it makes me feel giddy. <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Bless you. You're the only one who isn't annoyed by my narration. I think that's why I like you so much. Yeah, you're so patient. Thanks. No one else gets it. Life is an adventure. You might as well have... I'm preaching to the choir, aren't I? You've heard it all before. Thanks for being my chaperone, by the way. Once I graduate and they let me leave the necromancy school, we can go on adventures all the time. I can't wait. Is there going to be treasure for you to identify? Well, we're exploring a dungeon, so yeah, obviously there's going to be treasure. I'll share with you. Don't worry. Mmm. The sunshine suits you, you know. I'm not used to seeing you outside of the library. What? If I'm narrating our adventure, I should talk about our romantic tension? It's not tense, is it? What tension? We're just discussing. It's very sensible. Oh. Yeah, I see it too. A giant skull carved into the side of the mountain. Yeah, you love necromatic architecture? Me too. And that's our door. Did you bring the crystals? Wow. These amethysts are the size of your forearms. Thank you. If the poems I translated about this dungeon are correct, we place them into the empty eye sockets at the same time. Are you ready? There's no going back after.
I knew that would be your answer. Okay, take a deep breath in. On three. One. Two. Three. Oh, it worked. Oh, how are you doing? That was a long climb up. Good. Um, uh, thanks for holding my hand when it got dark, by the way. The poems I read about this place talked about lush greenery and plant life, so... Yeah, there must be sources of light as well. That's too bad. Hey, don't wink at me like that. You want to hold hands in the dark. You don't get treasure that way. Honestly, sometimes you... Oh, this is our first room. There should be three. Wow. That's... I should describe it. All right. Since you asked so nicely. Ahem. <clears throat> the room is adorned with intricate carvings representing the cycle of birth. Vines crawl up the walls, and soft sunlight filters in through the stained glass windows set in the cave walls. I knew it. And there are flowers everywhere. How is that? You want me to keep going? Oh, there's a crystal flower cast in shadow at the center of the room that looks... Sick, brown, and closed. Yeah, those are the right words. Hmm, there's a watering can beside it, too. Shall we? Well, the other flowers aren't made of crystal. Huh? Did I bring a mirror to fix my lipstick? Yeah, here. Where are you going with it? Oh, you're redirecting the light so it hits the crystal flower. Smart. I guess I should water it then, even if it is crystal. I'll poke around. I hear the sound of running water. What? If we finish the dungeon, can we go on a date? I just... Uh, hey! Don't shine the light on me. Focus. Where is that water? I know I have reservations about us. I have them for good reason. I don't want to hurt you, and you're really important to me. What if we're not good together, or you hate the way I snore? Uh, 
Oh, here. I'm coming back. Wow. The crystal petals look greener now. I know, I know. It's not an excuse. It's a worry. For you. You're wonderful. And I want to be wonderful for you. I'm working so hard to realize my dreams and become a real necromancer. I'd be devastated if you didn't feel like you were a priority for me. Here, hold the mirror steady. Oh, it's blooming! Yeah, you're right. It's like the symbols on the wall. It's the birth of something new. You want to help me make my dreams come true. Stop it, I'm blushing. I want to help you get what you want out of life too, you know. I can do that by going out with you. Stop, I'm breathless. That's such a perfect thing to say. Which one of us studies poetry again? All right. All right. Y you're right. I do always say life is short. And it's no secret that I care about you. I won't deny my heart any longer. I'd love to go on a date with you. I've been wanting to for at least a year. Look, there's a jewelry box at the center of the flower. Yeah, grab it. And the next door is open, too. Let's go. 